Welcome to No Excuses. My name is Mary Fran, and this is my place to come talk about weight loss, fitness, life, travel, dollhouses, everything that makes me the best me possible. So, welcome. Go ahead, comment, like, subscribe, do it all. I love it. And let's get into today's video. Today we're going to be talking about three things that I learned the other week when we were away on vacation. We knew when we were going into the vacation that it was going to be a more active time and I was expecting it, but I learned three things about myself. Number one, I actually learned that my body is a whole lot more capable than I give it credit for. You see, we go for walks around here, we go for hikes, and they're non-exploration and they're just kind of hiking and I enjoy them but I am miserable my legs hurt my feet hurt I'm tired this is misery it's absolute misery and we went away and we hiked a lot we were on our feet and on the go the whole time we were gone. At the Lunatic Asylum, we got there at 11.30 and we didn't leave there until about 4.30, 5 o'clock, and we were walking the whole time and going up and down steps. And I was fine, didn't have a problem with it. And we went to Thurmond, an abandoned town on the side of a mountain. We went and walked up the mountain and walked through the residential area. And I was tired when I was done, but I was hot footing it around. I was into it. And it made me realize that this misery that I'm feeling is all in my head. When my mind is occupied with other things, I, I'm fine. I have no pain, I have nothing. I was on the go. My body is capable of so much more than I give it credit for. Number two is to go with your instincts. We wanted to do the Kmore Miners Trail. And this trail, if you go from the lower section, is closed right now because there was a rock slide. And if you go from the top section, it is downhill. Not a problem, I wasn't scared. I've been on rough trails before, right? And it was only a mile long. I can do anything for a mile. And the first half of this mile was on a trail downhill and they said it was strenuous. And then the second half is a set of 800 steps to go down even further. And I was like, it's gonna be murder coming back up, but you know what, I can take my time, I'll do this, everything is good. So we headed down the trail. And we made it, I don't even know how far, we made it to a waterfall. And I stopped dead because the trail dissolved into rocks. Kind of rock steps, kind of uneven, kind of jagged, kind of windy. Couldn't even really see where they went because it was so rough. And it was all downhill steep. And I stood there because I'm just like, uh, yeah, this is gonna be rough. There were no trees beside that I could hold on to. There was nothing for a handhold. If I did this, I was going to be on my own, my knees, my body, everything was going to have to be spot on, point on, perfect. Because if I went down, I was gonna go down a hill onto rocks. I was scared. And I stood there just staring because I'm like, I want to do this so bad. I wanted it, but I knew that in my current state, I was not capable. You see, I've been falling an awful lot and I've talked about it over and over on these videos and I've actually even shown pictures of me falling and I just knew, I just knew it wasn't a good thing for me. So we turned around and went back up. I listened to my instinct. My gut told me I was not ready at all. Disappointed with myself because I wanted to see that mine, but I listened to my body. Number three, the third thing I learned, is that when you have a setback, like the Kmore Miners Trail, use it to push you forward. Use it to motivate yourself. As soon as we walked away, we said to each other, we will be back. We'll be back, no question about it. I will be back and I will conquer that trail. And you can say, oh, that's just words. But the next day we're riding down the road and I look at Jason and I go, trekking poles. 
think if I have trekking poles, maybe that would help give me balance, give me a little bit more stability, whatever. And I'm looking for ways to conquer that hill. Number one, I'm gonna lose weight. I have to lose weight. Number two, I need to be hiking and get myself more prepared. And number three, I'm gonna try trekking poles to give myself an extra little crutch, I don't know. I'm using it to motivate me to get myself better because I want this trail really bad. It's not gonna stop me again. I will do it. Getting fit is difficult. There are going to be lessons learned. There's gonna be setbacks. There's going to be all kinds of different things. We need to figure out what our holdups are. Mine is up here. Yeah, I still have aches and pains, but my true enemy is right up here. Everything else will come together. There are no excuses. I will be back up into that area and I will conquer those trails and you will see pictures. You can count on it. No excuses.